how this works, right? Here, again, this hit's gonna topple them back, you're not gonna. But when I pull this in here, I'm trying to get inspection with my forearm and the stick, which means driving this elbow down and squeezing. It's not a lot of you guys are trying to hold him, right, with the back of the head. That's one thing, and it hurts like fuck, right? But but here, in terms of the lock, the, first of all, the tighter, the closer my hands are, the tighter the, the But I want to squeeze and dig my forearm into his neck and squeeze his neck. See what is happening there? Right? It's less so I'm trying to pull him over and yard him over. It's I'm actually trying to do this. Right? Again, from here, I can do a hip throw. Right? I can just bury him down. Um, if you do this and you step out, right? It's just gonna go down to the floor. So there's a lot of things you can do with this. Again, you can sit here and knee him. You can do a Kevin Jackson headbutt, right? You can start kicking at his, his, his legs and his feet. There's a lot of things that you can do in this position. Um, it's stuff that you do the same thing and there's a commercial on it. Uh, it was like, some, I think it was like an anti-douchebag, anti-douchebag commercial where if somebody's wearing a tight jacket, you can actually slip your hand into the jacket here, grab, and slip your hand on the other side here and use the jacket and your hands to press here. So you can actually do it. It's got to be like a leather jacket or jean jacket. Like a regular sweatshirt has too much um, elasticity to it. To something that's pretty tight, but it's a way you can actually choke somebody out. And again, if you if you get in here, right, you're gonna take blood. You get here, you take wind. So depending on where you do it, you're either gonna pass out or they're gonna die or whatever comes first. But uh, <clears throat> the again, this maneuver, this is one of those flow drills where in in the, the entirety it doesn't make sense. Uh, but we're practicing again, we've got our angle one, right? Then we've got our, our Puno strike. Right now I'm using my forearm to strike, right? Then I've got an abanico. And so if he, say, say he actually moves back here, here's my abanico, right? So I've got that abanico here, now I'm into the chokehold, right? The thing about most chokeholds is a lot of times when people do this, they try to bring themselves up you want to bring them down, sit, get a nice, good stance, right? Versus I don't, I don't need to be up here. This is going to decrease the power of the chokehold. I just relax and bring it down. Okay.